So I see prayer as a vital part of every Christian life, of every believer's life. Um, prayer is like that piece of legislation that you know needs to be formulated or passed in order to get you to be a part of the Constitution. God has a kingdom and a divine constitution and prayer is a part of the preambles. You have to engage prayer as a believer. Um, you know, somebody asked me the other day, well, how do I see prayer? Now you all know, I see prayer um, in so many different ways. For an example, I see prayer as an elevator. An elevator, if you press the right button and assume the right posture, I see prayer as the elevator that can get you up to the right floor or the right level or dimension in God and the things of God. Once you enter that arena by way of that elevator called prayer, praise God, amen, notice I'm pointing up, praise God, amen, then you have access. You have access to everything that God has promised you, that he has spoken concerning you, and you begin to live your best life ever. So prayer gives you access to that. It causes you to come into that realm. So I'm excited about prayer, but I'm excited about you coming into this revelation, you being delivered from whatever is tormenting you, whatever you're going through. And I believe that renunciation along with your prayers, praise God, is a part of this whole, uh, I should call it, amen, buffet of spiritual things that you need to do. So I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'm looking forward. I, I'm definitely looking forward to this renounce. Um, revival conference because I believe that more than ever be before people need to begin their pathway pathway to elevation pathway to and to increase pathway to expansion and it starts with the prayer of renunciation so this weekend august 1st and the 4th um i want to help some of you praise god i want you to go to my website praise god the revival crusade is free august 1st 2nd and of course the 4th but on that coming saturday i want to take the time out praise god in the middle of this conference to show many of you how praise god to be delivered from stronghold demons strong man spirits praise god things that have been in your generation for years generational curses praise god things that have latched on to you but you know within yourself it doesn't belong to you i believe through the power of god by the power of deliverance as i teach you the praise god the key components praise god of amen renunciation and how to pray and how to praise God, engage the prayer of renunciation, those, those strongholds, those bad habits, those evil spirits, they're going to have to let loose of you. Praise God. And you're going to come into the calling and the assignment that God has called you to be. Praise God. You are called by God, my brother, my sister. You are anointed. Somebody may be asking me, why, uh, Dr. Knowledge, why do I feel like I'm struggling so much? I know that I'm called to do something in ministry. I know that I'm called to be who God has called me to be. But why is it such a fight? And that is because there is a, a particular uh, a strategy that you need to engage. I call it renunciation. Some people, we also call it the purge. We call it a time of, amen, total and absolute deliverance. I want to see you this week and go to my website right now. I have a spot reserved just for you and your family or your friends. I want you to be a part of Renounce 2024. It's going to be powerful. Come and see me. Training for raining on Saturday and Renounce Crusade. It's going to take you to the next level in the elevator of prayer that you need to be in. So God bless you, and I'll see you on this coming weekend.